This is Natalie Calavat with We Are SC's Gary Paskowitz. Gary, tough loss against Stanford in the Coliseum. What was the main topic of conversation on the We Are SC message board after the game? I think most of the conversation, Natalie, was about the defense and, and the failures of the defense to really, uh, A, contain Kevin Hogan. Uh, not only was the quarterback for Stanford able to do damage with his arm and his legs at critical times, uh, but also the lack of adjustments made to the running game that Stanford got going. They were really attacking that left side of the Cardinal offensive line with great success, especially on first and second down, set up a lot of short third down conversions. They ended up converting 8 of 12, and I think that was the frustrating part for a lot of USC fans was seeing that over and over again from the Stanford offense and really not many adjustments being made on the USC defensive side of the ball. Now the USC offense actually put up some good numbers. Did they do good enough to win? I think so. If, if you would have told most USC fans on Saturday morning, hey, 31 points tonight, averaging over seven yards a play, I'm going to take that as a recipe for a victory. And that's had to be frustrating. But what you look at again is that the Stanford offense did a great job of controlling the football. They held the ball for over 39 minutes. USC only had it for a little more than 20 minutes. So the fact that the USC offense was able to score 31 points in 20 minutes shows how well they did on the game. It's just they ended up not having the ball enough to get the win. What does this loss do to the Trojans' hope for a Pac-12 title? Uh, the margin for error becomes a lot smaller at this point. Uh, the good news is it wasn't a Pac-12 South loss. So your slate is clean as far as hopefully advancing to the Pac-12 South title game. But as the overall record is concerned, yes, it is a conference loss. But more importantly to that, Natalie, it's it's a case of where, where is your identity now? Where is your spirit as you are heading in to a big game and through the season? You just don't have much more margin for error now as the season goes along. What is the main attribute that USC really needs to hone in on to bounce back from this huge loss to Stanford going forward to Tempe this weekend against the Sun Devils. That's interesting. I think the biggest thing is going to be getting that defense shored up because you're going to be going up against an ASU offense that is completely different from what Stanford did. And maybe that's a good thing uh, for the USC defense. It's more spread out with what the Sun Devils do. They have a quarterback that USC fans are very familiar with, Michael Berkovici, with the Hail Mary pass last year. So it might be the kind of offense that the Trojan defense is more used to seeing. But that, to me, is going to be the key this weekend. That defense has to be licking their wounds a little bit. They need to bounce back from that. We know the USC offense has been pretty consistent. I, I think they're going to do their thing. It's the defensive side of the ball that needs to get taken care of. Now, who are some of the key players on USC's defense that really need to step up this weekend? Oh, I'm going to say you need to look down on the defensive line without a doubt. They need to be able to control that line of scrimmage. I think you're talking guys like Antoine Woods. You're talking Delvon Simmons, Greg Townsend, right in the middle of that line. That's just something we haven't seen yet is USC be able to control the line of scrimmage. We do that this this weekend, I think it's a good recipe for a win. Gary, did you get to chat with Will Farrell after the game on his thoughts? <laughs> I did not get to chat with Will Farrell, but as a fellow sports information graduate, uh, it was nice to see him out there as part of the festivities. Excellent. Well, that's our report from the USC campus. For Gary Pasquitz, I'm Natalie Calbat with WeRSC.